Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create badge animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. I have also created a set of 10 title animations. You can check the link in the description and download. Once you install these, you can find them inside your effects panel over here. Some of these titles also have animated icons over here, the SVG icons, which you can toggle on and off. So let's say we use this um, template over here. Let's play this. This is how the animation looks. It's going to animate out as well. If you want to stretch it out, you can do that as well. So let's uh, stretch it out and you can see that at the end it will animate out like so. All right, cool. So now in the inspector, you can see all the different controls over here. Don't worry about the color over here. This is my custom uh, fusion theme over here. So yeah, uh, in the inspector over here, we have different controls. If you expand the icon controls, you can toggle the SVG icon on and off and change its color and all the different stuff. And then you can control the uh, width of the stroke over here if you want more width or if you want to hide it completely. And then we have uh, color controls and text controls as well. So editing is pretty simple. So if you're interested, do check them out. The link is in the description. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create one of these animations. I'm not going to create exactly create this animation, but I'm just going to give you an idea of how these titles were created. So over here is my fusion composition. Let's go to the fusion page and we're going to start off by drawing an ellipse. So for that, we will need an S ellipse, which is right over here. Click on add, view this. And right now this is set to solid. We will uncheck solid and increase the border width. I'm going to set this to 0 0.005 and then I'm going to reduce the size like so. Then we will also need an S render. If you don't add S render, then you will not be able to connect it to any other node. So for example, if I now add in a text, you can see that it does not connect. We need an S render first and then we can connect it up like that. This will result in merge one. In the S ellipse over here, you can even change uh, some styles over here. For example, you can go to the style tab over here and change the color of the shape. I'm going to go with uh, this color over here. Let's also disable check underlay for now. So in the text one, I'll just type in some text. So let's type in uh, the font that the template used was Montserrat. So you have to find that font and install it. I'll also put the link in the description. If you don't use this font, chances are your template will not work. So before you do anything else, just make sure fonts are correctly installed. Then I'm going to change the font weight. I'm going to set this to light. I'm going to go to layout and I want to set the type to circle. Um, so now it's going to be in a circle shape and then we will change the size. Now you can put it right inside or outside. Really depends on what kind of look you want. I'm going to keep it inside like so. And then I can increase the tracking amount. We'll just go to layout again and change the width this time. So let's just change the width, something like that, and play with the size values as well. So in the template, you have uh, similar options. So if I search for this title, let's use this one. Go somewhere in the middle. You can see that uh, in the edit text one control, we have text curvature size and text curvature width, which is basically uh, the same setting over here in the text, the width and the size over here. So you can play around with these settings and, uh, you know, make sure the text is looking correct. And once you are happy, uh, then you can start animating it. So for the animation, I'm going to go to the text tab and right click and add a follower to this. Go to modifiers. I'm going to set the delay to one. And then I'm just going to change the opacity. So I'm going to go to the shading tab over here and animate the opacity property. So let's go to the very first frame. Make sure we are at the frame zero. And we have to create a keyframe in opacity and set the opacity to zero. And then we will go to frame 60 and set the opacity to one. So you have uh, this kind of effect. Now we can go to spline and um, select this opacity. Click on zoom to fit and then click on the icon that says select all and then hit S on the keyboard to smooth out the graph. Or you can just click on this very first icon. It will do the same thing. And then hit the T key on the keyboard and just ease it into 100. 
so now we turn off the spline check the animation out this is how it is going to look now if you want to speed it up you can also change the delay amount so let's set this to 0.5 and so be a little bit faster for the text color you can of course change it right over here let's use this color again now we can animate the ellipse as well so let's do that let's go to the controls in the s ellipse and we will animate the length property so let's go to the very first frame and create a keyframe on length set it to zero and then add frame 60 we will set this to one and now in the spline we will do the same thing now we will smooth out the graph and then ease in the keyframe over here so your animation will look something like this i want this line to follow same animation as the text so our text is animating from this point over here and ends right over here so i want to do the same thing so what we can do is in s ellipse we can change the position so i'm gonna actually set this right over here and then what we can do is after the s render we will add in a transform node and click on add and on this transform we will flip it horizontally we can again change the ellipse so let's set this right over here and our line should animate from left to right if i disable the transform the line animates in anti-clockwise direction we want the animation to be clockwise if you go to the very first frame you can see that we have a small dot over here already and this is because when we set the cap style to rounded we will have this dot by default at the very first frame if you set this to flat it will disappear but then our line will be will have a flat cap so we want this to be rounded but at the very first frame we want this to be flat so that there is no dot so we can keyframe this cap style property so create a keyframe and at the very first frame it will be flat and hit the right arrow key which will be frame one and here we will just change the cap style back to rounded right so now we will have the same animation but at the very first frame there will be no dot and then at the middle you can add as many text elements as you want you can add more ellipse shapes in the middle you can create lines it pretty much uh, depends on your creativity but i'm going to show you how you can add in a svg file so i'm going to go to fusion import and svg and i have this svg file over here of a coffee bean if you take a look at it this is how it's going to look i'm going to just add it right after the merge this is how it's going to look now in the coffee bean i'm just going to um make some adjustments right here here so first of all the background i'm going to change the color and uh, make it yellow and then in the path one and path two we will would like to change the size we have the size control over here but as you can see when i change the size um it only changes one element over here uh, we want to control both elements at once so for that we have to right click on size and click on publish and in part two we have to right click on size and we have to connect it to path one and size now we can control the size right over here and this will basically control both the shapes at once and then we'll do the same thing with the border width right click click on publish and let's go to path one border width right click connect to path two and border width so let's just reduce the border width and it will change the border width of both shapes over here and then for the animation you can go to the very first frame create a keyframe on length go to frame 60 and set the length to one go to spline and ease these uh keyframes in and on part two we will apply the same animation so right click on position so you right click on length and go to connect to path one length so these two will have same animations like this so there you have it that's how easy it is to create this animation now you have to go ahead and create the out animation as well which is basically reversing the keyframes and uh, yeah that is pretty much it so you connect it to the media out 
and there you have your animation so that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful so do check out the title pack uh, if you don't want to create this animation from scratch again thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one